How are we managing the mountains of waste we produce, and is there a sustainable solution to this growing problem? These are questions that require innovative thinking and a shift from our current ways. One such shift is happening in the realm of microbial engineering, a fascinating field that leverages the power of tiny microbes to transform waste into valuable resources. Microbial engineering is the process of modifying microorganisms such as bacteria, yeast, and fungi to perform specific tasks. Think of these microbes as tiny factories capable of taking in raw materials, in this case, waste feedstock, and converting them into valuable outputs like biofuels, pharmaceuticals, and biodegradable plastics. This is done by tweaking the microorganism's metabolic pathways, the chemical reactions that happen within a cell to sustain life. Although microbial engineering sounds like a futuristic concept, it's a natural process that has been happening for billions of years. The beer you drink, the bread you eat, the cheese you savor, all these are products of microbial metabolism. What scientists are doing now is harnessing this natural process and directing it towards sustainable solutions. One major focus area is the utilization of waste feedstock, materials that are considered waste but can be used as raw materials for these microbial factories. This includes one carbon waste like methane and carbon dioxide, horticultural waste like leaves and stems, food waste from our kitchens, and animal agricultural waste. However, using these waste feedstocks efficiently is a major challenge. Microbes are picky eaters. They prefer simple, easy-to-digest feedstocks. Waste materials, on the other hand, are complex and variable. To overcome this, scientists are using synthetic biology and multiomics, which is the study of the roles, relationships, and actions of an organism's molecular components. Synthetic biology allows scientists to design and construct new biological parts, devices, and systems that do not exist in the natural world, and to redesign existing biological systems for useful purposes. Multiomics, on the other hand, provides a comprehensive view of the biological molecules that define the structure, function, and dynamics of an organism or organisms. By combining these approaches, scientists hope to create microbial cell factories that can efficiently convert various types of waste into valuable products, moving us closer to a sustainable, bio-based circular economy. The efficient utilization of waste feedstock is a major challenge, but advancements in synthetic biology and multiomics are paving the way for innovative solutions. This is a crucial step towards achieving a sustainable, bio-based, circular economy, where waste is not just discarded but used as a valuable resource. To summarize, microbial engineering is an exciting field that holds great potential for sustainable waste management. By tweaking the metabolic pathways of microorganisms, scientists aim to create cell factories that can convert waste feedstock into valuable products. The efficient utilization of waste feedstock is a major challenge, but advancements in synthetic biology and multiomics are paving the way for innovative solutions. This is a crucial step towards achieving a sustainable, bio-based, circular economy, where waste is not just discarded but used as a valuable resource. So, the next time you see a pile of waste, remember it's not just trash, it could be the raw material for a microbial factory, a source of sustainable energy, or the building block for a biodegradable plastic. In the world of microbial engineering, one person's trash truly is another's treasure.